Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Nightfall guide on the Insight Terminus. I'm going to be running Top Tree of Night Stalker, uh, Midnight Coup as Primary, Hykelos as Secondary, Whisper as Heavy, and Orpheus Rig as part as my my boots. Uh, the modifiers are Heavyweight, Momentum, and Solar Singe. Now, I know I'm running, I am running Hykelos Shotgun. Any energy shotgun is going to do because it's it's for one use and one use only. It's not a DPS. It's just it's just a get out of jail free. Actually, with the with the strength of of stuff like the Last Dance, a sidearm would probably do as well. So, I haven't been on Xbox for a couple of days. This is where I've done my run on Xbox because I've been building my PlayStation account. I came on, I wasn't going to do a Nightfall run or an Ascendant Challenge this week until I realised that this Ascendant Challenge, I hadn't actually done the time trial. So, I came back on Xbox just to do the run. I will start from next week, probably, doing Nightfall runs on PlayStation because I run both consoles, so... Now, I thought this was going to be really difficult <laughs> because when I, when I played it, in year one on PlayStation before it became available on Xbox. It was never one I looked forward to. But it's not. It's actually really easy. So what I was doing there at the start was I'm building super energy. I don't want to have to fight all the ads in here. I just want to build up enough super energy so I've got it before we get to the first encounter. So as you can see, I'm just I'm just trying to build up a bit of super energy because there is basically three encounters you have to worry about, and 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 all of them you kind of well two of them you need your tether you need your tether at the boss, and as you can see, I'm not utilizing the the Ikelos's, uh perk. It's just to have a shotgun for close range. If you in fact. You know the, the the Dream and City shotgun, which escaped the name escapes me. Uh, that 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 would that's just as good. I do not I do not do the melee. I don't I don't uh, per, uh, proc trench barrel. So it's that's not what it's there for. I know some people get a little bit uh, salty, kind of when when I put Ikelos in a in a run, simply because it's the, the you know, it was the energy shotgun I had on, so it's not for any other reason. So if you if you want interest, or if you waited outside until you had your super, you can you can run past all of this. As you can see, we get past this. I make sure to get my dodge to get the invisibility when I run past the big man there. Uh, <laughs> and and w if you're going to fight these ads, which is which I would I, I would suggest you kill them because they will follow you onto the plate. Do it from this side, because if you just fight them before you go in, that the big the ultra cabal will fire at you and and kill you. So when we get onto this plate, what we're going to do is we're going to tether. You know, wait until he's done his attack because it can that thing can really hurt if you're too close to it. And then as you can see, we're on the plate. We are going to tether, take out all these ads. So tether grenade and just you know you get you. The reason, I, I think it's pretty obvious why I'm running Orpheus to get my super back. Now, Orpheus is kind of different now. You kind of have to kill uh, kill what you tether to get it back, which is which is fine. It's, it's no problem at all. So, again, another plate. And that's the first encounter. The first plate and the first encounter. <laughs> I can't believe how easy this turned out to be. So we're just about four minutes in. It's a sixteen-minute run. It's as and and as you know, anybody that knows the strike knows I've still got a big area in the center. Now you can see me shaking my head here, uh, in gaming terms, shaking my head because the loading times. I don't know about PC. If any of you guys watch this, if any of you guys that watch this run play PC, can you can you leave me a comment? To, do you guys get these loading times on PC? Are they as bad as they are on console? It's bad enough that you, the UI is, is, I mean, I've seen arthritis move faster. It's unbelievable. So anyway, here we are. This is the, this is the, the kind of, the obligatory strike middle section where you have a boss you've got to take down. 
but this is just it's especially with night stalker and having the invisibility it's it's easy so just bypass all the ads come over here proc whisper you don't even have to proc whisper just get get your aim right you know and even if you don't take this boss here he'll come into view let him come into view break his shield get a crit on him and he will come back and we get the reload and now we're just going to go and pick up this orb now the way this works is you're going to have two of those you've got this one and you're going to have another one you're going to have another one of those guys you can pick it up as you're moving keep proccing momentum you'll get past all of that i have every time when we get up here we're going to drop we're going to tether the center pick it up turn and grenade and don't wait at this slam as you're running past and then we, we you know we used our invisibility now we've got it back now what I'm, we as soon as we slam we went invisible we're good now we're going to go to the right hand side now the second the second yellow bar the second ultra cabal take these snipers first second second cabal he's going to be further down to the right he's going to be down at the this bottom section there so we'll break his shield now you do take a little bit of heat here so just you know it's not a case of jump about and you'll survive just move he's dead pick this up go and slam it now again don't stop to smell the roses pick this thing up as you're running past we've got what dodge reload we've got our invisibility which is what top tree does top tree gives you that invisibility so we're going to jump up behind these pillars do a dodge get our invisibility and again run past this and insert as we're running past now now the gate is going to open this this wall is going to clear and we're past now we're at the boss just six minutes 50 in and we've got nothing between us and the boss practically i don't know why i thought this was going to be difficult because it's not but the boss can the boss can be difficult now the shotgun we, we've put on any shotgun uh any shotgun will do any energy shotgun even like i said at the start even a sidearm would do because i've noticed things like the last dance and so on and so forth they're, they're pretty powerful you need something that's a bit more i've done this with a boat to start with and it just didn't have the stopping power that's why i've went with a shotgun because when you're on the plate and you'll see what my strategy is my strategy is to to, to kind of get the ads to group so i can tether anything pushes me on the plate it's getting shotgunned you know i'm not going to mess about i actually got the triumph earlier uh for not being not leaving a plate once i got on it which is down to having a high impact energy weapon uh to deal with the ads as soon as as soon as they they do encroach the plate because you know you don't you don't want that so we're on the first plate now you'll notice i try and tether slightly to the left slightly more to the left because the, there'll be dogs coming from the left then we grenade and we just make sure that we're mopping everything up don't leave ads standing about mop everything and then as soon as i'm clear i know i'm gonna i know i'm clear i, I think about going on that plate but i don't I prop my whisper, and as soon as he drops and becomes visible, I start putting it on him. So we've got four there, four good. I get one on his back, two on his back, and then one on his head, and he's gone. Right? So we're going to go invisible, and now what we're going to try and do is get the ads to group. So that we can get all the ads with one tether each time. Right? So just run about a little bit. They're on the center. Get a big tether. You know, and if if you see ads that aren't playing ball, you, you know, don't don't worry about it. Go back the other way and get them to walk towards your tether. Now we're on the plate. We got our super back, and there's another wave of ads. So now I'm gonna tether in front of the plate, and we want these ads to come down here because we want them. We want them to get tethered. Now if if ads don't get tethered. It's no big deal. But if, if ads don't get tethered, it's it's not a big deal. 
uh, you've got plenty of time. And what we're doing now is we're just going to run about a little bit. All right. We've got the shorty, if, if, if needs be. But ideally, we want to be killing the dogs and stuff like that with our masterwork weapon to drop orbs. So, as soon as we get our tether back... Now, we were unfortunate because we didn't, might not needed to have used that second tether, but... You're better safe than sorry. You are better using the tether rather than trying, because, you know, we were protected. That was the main thing. We protected ourselves. If you don't protect yourself, it could potentially be the end of a run. So, you never want to leave yourself in a position where you're... I wonder if I can... Don't don't wonder if you can do what you know, you know. If if you've got a tether, use it. Because we've got momentum on, we've got all this cover. We can just keep running between cover. We've got a lot of cover. We're we're we're, al we're almost good for a tether. We're just running about keeping the momentum propped because obviously it's on solar. You know, and and the, those guys have, have got solar. There's a whole heap of ads. I'm I'm kind of not running about now because I want them. I want to start grouping them now. So we run past those, uh, the gladiators, is that what they're called? I always forget, I always, I always call them butchers actually. So grenade, th those butchers are the hardest thing to, because they, they, it's like they run about off their own free will. So we'll make sure we take those guys. And, th you know, that, did you see, I had to switch to my shotgun because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Now, he's going to push. That's what you need a high impact for. Now, the tethers ran out. I do have a tether, but I've almost done the plate, and we're good. So, as you can see, what we're doing is we're just we're just gathering the ads and then tethering, right? But, and I know I said, don't take any chance in this. Oh, I was nearly done. I really was nearly done. If I hadn't have been so close, I'd have fired my, fired my tether. So... I think on this one, uh, the, these, we that's ideally what we wanted. We wanted them to go into the center, but unfortunately, my tethers ran out, and this, this is where the shotgun comes in. Any any high impact, that's where it comes in, and we got we got the plate. Now all we've got to do is kill the boss. Oh, we didn't get the plate. <laughs> I didn't get the plate. Now I'm gonna have to build up super again. I'm actually I'm kind of glad that happened because what you what it shows you is sometimes it just won't always go according to plan. <laughs> sometimes it won't go according to plan. So we're just gonna we're just gonna build our super. We've almost got it. Imagine how fast this run would have been. I mean that took another couple of minutes off it, and I thought I definitely thought that the insect terminus would be the most difficult. So it's it's back to it's 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 back to back to square one get the enemies to chase you we need to you know group them so that they all get caught off the tether i've almost got my tether and as soon as we get it as you can see i'm, I'm not just going down to the plate to wait so we'll do that and then and then we'll capture them all and then a grenade and that 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 should that should finish just about all of those ads and we have another tether. That's the most important part about doing that. If you don't capture everybody with your tether, it can really make life difficult. So I want, I want, I want to make sure if they're not being captured by my tether, I want to make sure that it's it's those guys, those uh, gladiators. They they are the real issue here because they jump off to the side a lot. So now we got we we cleared the plate. I'm gonna put as much on them here as I can. But again, don't take chances. You know, do not take chances. Don't don't stay and try and get another shot. You know, as soon as soon as you start to get encroached, as soon as the ads start to get your location and start building up on you, move. I mean, you've got momentum on. You have to move to keep yourself safe. So now I'm just peeking them. You know, I'm getting too much. Took a couple of shots. Now, the, the kind, as you can see there, that was perfect example. Those gladiators, they just go off on their own. They don't, they, they do their own thing. So it can be quite difficult to group, group those guys. As you can see, we're good. Now, I don't, 
if, the minute he goes away, the minute he's off, you go off. The minute you can't see him anymore, cause as you can see, I took a, I took a heavy hit there. The minute you can't see him, go invisible and run to the other side. Because what that does is the ads will encroach the last position they saw you in. And it gives you time. You know, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move, keep keep the momentum propped, and just go between these two pieces of cover. They are good, good pieces of cover. And now, we're going to just do, do right, and this is all over for him. And that's the run. It's, it's a really simple, I mean, if they'd have got tethered a bit better in, in, in this run, I mean, you can't allow for that. You know, I've done five or six runs, and let me tell you, the f this was the best one for getting tethers. Uh, but that's the idea when you get here. Just get them all to bunch up and get a tether on them, and while they're tethered and you're clearing up, hopefully you'll get another tether back, and you can capture the plate. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this maybe entices some of you guys to try this solo. It's, it's really fun. There isn't a lot in it, to be fair. Uh, and I'm glad there's only one more left, and then I'll have done all the nightfalls. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I appreciate, as always, and I will see you guys in the next one.